Reusability was the defining feature that set the space shuttle apart from many other vehicles of its time. Now, SpaceX's Starship is poised to take that potential to the next level. So, what makes Starship's heat shield better than the space shuttles? Let's explore that in today's episode of Great SpaceX. For decades, the space shuttle was an iconic symbol of the aerospace industry, primarily due to its groundbreaking reusability. After completing its missions, the shuttle would re-enter Earth's atmosphere, protected by an intricate heat shield system, before gliding to a runway landing. The heat shield system was comprised of over 24,000 tiles designed for specific areas of the shuttle including black tiles on the underside that bore the brunt of re-entry heat. These tiles were made from materials such as reinforced carbon carbon, or RCC, for the nose and wing edges, and other insulating materials like high temperature reusable surface insulation, or HRSI, felt reusable surface insulation, FRSI, and low temperature reusable surface insulation, or LRSI to protect the shuttle from the extreme temperatures of re-entry. While the space shuttle's heat shield was a marvel of its time, SpaceX's Starship represents a significant leap forward in heat shield technology and spacecraft design. Like the shuttle, Starship relies on a heat shield for re-entry, but its approach is far simpler and more efficient. Starship's bullet-like rocket-shaped design features heat shield tiles on more than half of its surface, including the body and flaps. Unlike the shuttle, which required a complex array of tiles for its airplane-like structure, Starship's more uniform design allows for a streamlined heat shield system. Each Starship is equipped with approximately 18,000 tiles, 6,000 fewer than the shuttle. This reduction in tile count makes the installation, refurbishment, and replacement process much faster and more efficient. Whereas the space shuttle required thousands of people and many months to reinforce after the flight, Starship's simpler design allows for faster, less labor-intensive maintenance. Additionally, with fewer tiles, Starship reduces the overall risk risk of damage during re-entry. Starship's smooth, cylindrical shape also offers significant advantages over the shuttle's complex, edge-filled airplane design. The shuttle's unique shape required custom heat shield tiles to fit each section properly. When damaged, the process of replacing those tiles was time-consuming because each tile was custom-made for its specific location. In contrast, Starship's uniform shape allows for mass production of its hexagonal tiles, making replacement faster and more efficient. Once the heat shield in those locations is damaged, it is difficult to replace. But Starship's uniformity allows tiles to be swapped out easily, avoiding long delays for custom parts. This not only enhances operational efficiency, but also improves safety by allowing for quick, easy repairs. In addition to the advantages of its tile system, Starship's blunt cylindrical design improves heat distribution during re-entry. Unlike the shuttle, which relied on precise positioning of its custom tiles, Starship's shape helps increase aerodynamic efficiency and distribute heat more evenly throughout the entire vehicle. This even distribution of heat reduces the risk of damage from localized hotspots during re-entry. Furthermore, Starship's larger surface area, relative to its volume, enhances its drag coefficient, helping to decelerate the vehicle more efficiently, further protecting it during re-entry. Another key innovation in Starship's heat shield system is the shape of its tiles. The hexagonal design offers several advantages over the square tiles used on the space shuttle. As Elon Musk explained, the hexagonal shape ensures no straight path for hot gas to accelerate through the gaps, which was a common problem with the square tiles of the shuttle. This design improved reduces the risk of hot gas penetrating the heat shield, providing superior protection during re-entry. Starship also benefits from advancements in the materials used in its construction. The space shuttle was made from aluminum alloy, which, while lightweight, had a relatively low melting point of around 660 degrees Celsius. Long before reaching this point, aluminum starts to lose its strength, beginning to weaken at just 250 degrees Celsius, making it ill-suited for the extreme temperatures of re-entry, which can exceed a thousand 1,500 degrees Celsius. To compensate, NASA relied on a complex system of tiles and insulation to protect the aluminum structure. In contrast, SpaceX chose stainless steel for Starship, a material that can withstand much higher temperatures up to 870 degrees Celsius. This makes Starship more resilient during re-entry and allows for a lighter and less complex heat shield system. Stainless steel is also cheaper than aluminum, making Starship both cost-effective and durable. If you agree that Starship's heat shield is better than the space shuttles, press one in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to 
to follow SpaceX's development journey. Despite the many advantages of SpaceX's Starship heat shield, the company is not slowing down its efforts to improve the system. Even after four flights, several issues remain, such as tiles falling off and during flight four, an apparent failure of the heat shield that caused the forward flap to burn during re-entry. These problems indicate that the heat shield still needs significant refinement, but SpaceX has consistently made upgrades after each setback, pushing Starship's development forward with every flight. It's likely only a matter of time before SpaceX fully optimizes its heat shield system. In preparation for the next flight, SpaceX is already working on improvements, starting with the S-30 prototype for Flight 5. While the specifics of the upgraded heat shield have not been fully revealed, Elon Musk has shared some key details. The new tiles are expected to be twice as strong as the previous version, although this likely doesn't relate to their thickness. Instead, SpaceX has probably altered the composition of the tiles to increase their durability. Additionally, an ablative layer will be added beneath the tiles, providing secondary protection in case any tiles fall off during flight. While these upgrades sound promising, the true capabilities of the new heat shield will only become clear during Flight 5. Scheduled for November, this flight will aim to land Starship in the ocean. The real challenge will come in later flights when Starship is expected to return to Starbase and land on the Megazilla arm. These tests will provide a clearer picture of how effective the upgraded heat shield is under more demanding conditions. Looking beyond Flight 5, SpaceX plans to continue refining Starship's heat shield system in future versions of the vehicle, such as V2 and V3. Version 2 of Starship is expected to be only slightly larger, so the number of tiles might not increase significantly. However, by version 3, when the height of the ship reaches nearly 70 meters, the number of tiles will likely rise substantially. Given the simplicity and uniformity of the tiles, SpaceX should have, have no trouble scaling up production. What will require more attention is improving the durability of the tiles, especially since Starship won't just be flying to low Earth orbit like V1 or visiting the International Space Station like the Space Shuttle. Starship is destined for much longer and harsher journeys, including missions to Mars and beyond. Improving the heat shield's durability is crucial not only for individual missions, but also for achieving SpaceX's long-term goal of making Starship fully reusable. As Musk emphasized, the heat shield needs to be reused many times over, not just a few flights like current spacecraft. Musk has set ambitious goals for Starship, including the possibility of daily flights. Although it's feasible to replace tiles after each flight, if they suffer severe damage, SpaceX aims to minimize tile replacement in order to speed up turnaround times. Achieving quick reusability for the heat shield will be critical to SpaceX's broader mission, especially as the company gears up for more frequent and complex flights. All of these improvements are part of SpaceX's larger Mars strategy. Musk has set several ambitious targets, including landing the first Starship on Mars within the next two years, sending people to the Martian surface within four, and establishing a city on Mars within 20 years of the first crewed missions. To achieve these goals, SpaceX will need to transport around a million tons of cargo to Mars. In each of these plans, Musk has underscored the importance of increasing the flight rate. Regular and reliable flights are are essential for stabilizing operations, especially since launch windows to Mars occur only every two years. This will require a spacecraft that can be reused multiple times, reinforcing the need for further heat shield enhancements. In conclusion, while SpaceX's Starship heat shield has already made significant strides, its ongoing development is key to the company's broader goals of rapid reusability and interplanetary travel. With continued upgrades, SpaceX is positioning itself to meet the challenges of Mars exploration and beyond. The need for Starship's heat shield to outperform previous systems like the space shuttles is crucial for advancing reusability. Starship already has key design advantages, but these will be tested by the more challenging missions it aims to tackle, particularly the journey to Mars. The heat shield will play a vital role acting as the spacecraft's armor against the extreme conditions of space and re-entry. As SpaceX refines this system, these upgrades will be critical to making Starship fully reusable, essential for long-term goals like interplanetary travel. The future of Starship's heat shield development will be essential to overcoming the immense challenges ahead. Let's watch how it progresses. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.